That's better, isn't it? I wouldn't worry about him, Sophie. I don't. What happened to your hand? Nothing. <sighs> Night, Izzy. I miss the apple jelly. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm afraid you did, really. Well, it's difficult at this time of year with last year's almost out and this year's not yet made. Well, I did put a few aside for, um... I'm sure it'd be OK. Blessed are the jelly makers. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Dedication almost beyond the reach of man. When are you going to come back to Sunday school? Maggie really misses you. Maggie, come over here and say hello to Miss Dorrington. Hello, small Maggie. Not so small, I notice. Yeah, it's the sunshine. She's growing like a weed. We potted her out in May. She needed a new pair of sandals by July. Next summer, we're going to have to lock her up in a big dark cellar with white rats with pink eyes, aren't we? No! <laughs> well, that's it. I'm done for another year. I've been at the gelling like a mad thing since six o'clock this morning. If I never see another jar of apple jelly in my life, it'll be too soon. Well, anyway, it's over. All the rest are on the trees, so no more grubbing about getting worms out of windfalls, thank heaven. Father Reardon's giving me a lift home, so I've got to get going. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Do you mind if I clear this lot away while we talk? No, not at all. Was there something you wanted to talk to me about? I don't think so. Should there be? Well, there might be. I remember when I first went to seminary school. I was so shocked. I never felt so lonesome in my mm. life before. I don't think I understand. God has all the time in the world, Sophie. He'll outweigh all of us, including your brother. Have you uh, finished jellying then?
Charlie. I'm not picking up after you anymore. Thank <laughs> you. 